Have a ride with me down my road, wait up the country lane in rural Ireland in Tipperary where I live, on the way to my little grey house. This is my road, so yes, very far out on the countryside. And this is my nearest neighbors, and um, as you can probably imagine, they don't really complain a lot about the hard, loud music or stuff like that, so just thought I would introduce you. And welcome up to the little grey house. And here we have the main door, excuse the traffic outside. As you can see here, I have a, I have a leaf on the door. And uh, walking in here, we're getting into what is the main entrance. But actually also the nice entrance, but actually also my office. So I'll show you on the other side in just a while. However, as coming up to the house in winter time, you can see all the light from the window and then the door is just here. So uh, see you inside. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna give you a house tour now when the whole house has been uh, completed. You've seen a bit uh, in the welcoming part. So uh, let's do the house tour. So this is the door that you saw from the outside, the reef here uh, is on the back of the door. And down here is my trusted friend uh, Lilia that is following me around for the past 10 years. And then uh, Odin's blanket. And the main window where I was just sitting and inviting you welcome. Uh, this is why I have my office out here is because of this great window and I actually got a great view over the countryside. So uh, yeah, love to, to see that one when looking at that in between meetings and whatever I'm doing when I'm working from home, which I do most days, um, including today, which is why it was a makeup free day, really. A couple of lanternas here in the window cell just because it's Christmas and uh, I want to have a little bit of coziness. And uh, around here is the door to the rest of the house. So um, yeah. Uh, just a few other books and uh, then let's enter the house. This little hall is really just a hall of doorways. I'm standing in the office door now and then we have the living room door here, my bedroom in here and what I call the extra room over here. Uh, this grey colour is what was on all the walls almost um, when I moved in here and then turning left and here we get into what I call the extra room. This is a bit of everything in here. My steamer, my vacuum cleaner, my fan and my bike that uh, I love to ride on. Um, I'm on something called Swift so I'm riding inside and then I'm looking at the screen here and it looks like I'm riding on the road so something else in an auto physical world. Uh, and that's done by this a trap down here, uh, who's called an elite uh, tra trailer tracker thing. So that's one down here, bikes put on here, and then you ride your bike inside, and then on the screen you have your artificial world. So I can show you that at some stage. This wallpaper is from the landlord's mum, I think. I still have to move my. Um, my board chair, it was used to be my office, but just moved when we were painting. Not in these rooms, obviously. My bedroom has uh, my makeup table and then just my king size bed, who where Odin and I sleep. Odin thinking it is a common basket or something like that. And outside, I have my car park, so if you can see it, it's a curious potash just uh, popping up out there. It's evening as I'm filming this one. Just finished work, Friday evening. So I uh, thought I'd jump in and uh, give you a house tour. Makeup table over here in the corner with all my everything in my beloved mirror and all my brushes. And in this rolling thing, here's all my, my extra makeup so that's really just my bedroom moving into the living room let me just get some light on so you can see what it looks like uh, entering from the hall we have a little Christmas decoration here 
the window that you just sneak peek through is here with a bunch of Christmas light and uh, both in the office and here I have these Geo Jensen uh, gold um, decorations here I had them from my mom in my first home um, they were one every year this one is from 2007 and uh, then they have different Christmas decorations they are meant for windows uh, so yeah and then the normal seven arm and a couple of I call them my uh, my star get my starlights these ones and then we just have the television in front of the television. and then the Christmas tree of the house is this one it's my mom's job to decorate it every year and uh, that's the only Christmas tree I have as you will see when we walk through the house there's not like a lot of spaces for storage so yeah um, up here we have some shelf with my my monkeys on them here uh, so this is the middle monkey and then I have the small monkey up here uh, maybe you can see him here over the couch and then the couch and my table uh, with some Christmas light and an advent uh, candle stick on it and my red uh, carpet here and across from the couch we have the fireplace with my calendar uh, calendar candle it's like have every day on it something we use in, in Denmark at least uh, you have one two three four and so on up to the 24th this one is with batteries so you just take it down one every day and over here we have my little uh, phony in a box who is like throwing around some uh, some snow there and my view in general from uh, from the couch where I talked to you for a few times is uh, the fireplace and the television but uh, over here in the corner we have mom's chair which is also my reading chair and it had just been painted white previously it was this grey colour in here there's like firewood and stuff like that so it can stay grey it's fine beside the couch we have some books because I am a book nerd and uh, that's also why my glasses is here and then there's just a few of the books that I'm reading right now this is the country diary by an awarding lady is like every month uh, Awardee and lady have been writing some poems and stuff like that. The evergreen here is from Lydia Millen. Hasn't had the time to read it yet, but I'm sure it's worth my while. Uh, and then just the bird calendar. So standing in the doorway to the kitchen, where I have been filming a few times. If you see, watch my first videos and stuff like that. This is my complete living room. But let's just see the coziness of it when the main light is turned off or hygge as we call it in Danish I'm sure some of you have heard about hygge and then it looks like this just lit up by the candlelight and then a single electric light and again looking from the kitchen doorway it looks like this and uh, that is cozy or hygge, hygge lit and that's something we Danes uh, spend a lot of time on um, it's really what makes your home your home you can say moving from the living room into the kitchen here first of all is Odin's and uh, his basket of bones I don't know if you saw his basket of toys in the living room just inside the living room door but he's definitely not short of anything this old stove was actually a wooden coal fired stove where they used to be cooking now it is transformed into the oil stove and it's approximately 45 years old this old one here you can theoretically still cook on it but uh, only when uh, the oil is going but you can still like boil water and stuff like that I wouldn't be doing that but I would be drying my pots and pans up here after the worst so 
Anyway, my little robot helper here on the door into the living room. He's called James. Uh, all my major machines in the house have names. And that's James. And then we had some fruit basket and my tea coffee stations with a couple of uh, mint pies still in it. And up here on the wall is my roll of plates and coffee, tea and then Odin's supplies up here. Again, he's not short of anything. A dog shouldn't be if you have him. So, coffee, tea, I both have like a Dolce Gucci here and then my teapot over here. And I actually also have a few special coffee pot machinery that you might see someday. Uh, my oil station, we get around to that one. Dinner table in the middle with a Christmas uh, tablecloth here. Who's actually one of these you just dry off and I actually don't know what's called in English. Another Christmas decoration and another advent over here. It's like a major thick candle, so uh, we need to burn it every time we're out here to uh, to catch up with the days. Dishwasher, washing machine, and just all the normal things. My thermal mix over here, <clears throat> and then just normal shelf and whatever you have in your kitchen. I personally uh, like vegetables, so I have a little um, display over here. In the corner, the chicken is for my my eggs. Telly for news in the night. I'm kind of a news freak. And uh, this one doesn't have a name, but it's her with her kit covering up this ugly pole. If you want to name her, let me know in the comments down below what you think her name and her kit's name should be. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And then just a little bit of de Christmas decoration on top of the roll curtain here. So. Uh, this kitchen, I don't know if it shows up in uh, on the camera, but it's actually dark blue. Uh, quite a great color. And then we have my range cooker here. Can't live without it. And then my oil collection here, who's quite sustainable, it's just like my um, my kitchen's supplies there. I love cooking, so uh, yeah, I have quite some kitchen supplies. The door to the pantry, there's also the back entrance and then back through the coffee station to the living room door and here we walk into the little hall leading to the bathroom and my dressing room but we'll get to that in a minute. In the pantry, who's also the back entrance, door to the kitchen and if you turn around you have the entrance to what now is my mum's room, used to be mine and right next to that what a big curtain for it is the back entrance doorway. So let's turn on the light. I'm sure you remember this angle because that's the angle I've been filming in all the time, almost. So my mom's new room, she wanted magnolia on the walls. Here, um, I have white on my walls. We painted this one because our painter at the time chose to let us down. Uh, while um, we then got another painter in, uh, who's like Luke the painter, I believe his uh, in contact information is down in the comments below and uh, he's absolutely recommendable. Closet, as always, window as always, and a little bit of Christmas decoration. My mom stole this one from my uh, my shelf line behind me, if you remember, from my dressing room. Well, actually, I let her have it. And then just her bed and her dressing table and a heating oven because it can get pretty cold out here. And then just back out to the door and the pantry. Back in the kitchen and turning left and then just walk this way. That is the last way for you to, to see. Moving in the middle hall here, door to toilet, and uh, we just leave that one, uh, personal room, whatever, when not needed. Couple of wine, wine cabinets, things here, and the back that's in use at the moment, and into my dressing room. So now you can see a little bit of how it's done, but uh, we get to that one in the next one in a while. So, 
through the door in we got actually rolls of clothing and my back tree here and some other rolls of clothing you can't see these rolls of clothing but that's because I have so if we roll them up instead of down and actually see how I constructed my my closet here so it's literally just a rack up here and then the clothing's hanging down and then I have creative constructions that was where I talked to you last time and my main mirror my mom's latest addition to the dressing room is this uh, bouquet of flowers with uh, in a pot it's just a glass pot is put in and then they just cut off and, and put in here another chair my uh, chef unit here my advent calendars that you've been seeing a few times now in uh, the shorts that I've been putting on window another heating oven because it can get pretty cold in here my lantern is my candle my rose and my perfume collection here and then again a couple of blinds covering up some shelf you can just see popping up there and then again some hangers in here the complete dressing room I thought I was gonna give a tour off in uh, in another video but it all depends on how long this one is getting I think it's getting pretty long so uh, let's just make the whole thing in another video in more details here we have my island who's not in any way small island as they are like a meter and 60 long each and then there's two of them with six shelves in each so that was the complete house tour of my little grey house and just sitting in here in the dressing room since I think this video is already getting pretty long I decided to make a bonus video on Sunday where I just give it more detailed tour of the dressing room here so if that's something you're interested in watch on tomorrow because there will be the dressing room tour and that was all I had for you today so have a great day a great weekend a great week and uh, see you in the next one bye bye so just outfit of the day is a pair of black leggings a red knitted dress uh who's like pretty short but still long enough and then just hair back in a bun and totally make a free as yeah that's just home office outfit and then i just have my uh, slippers on there so yeah that was the outfit of the day